Alrighty, what is going on guys and welcome back to another ranking video. Your boy is spicing up the variety on this channel, I tell you, I've done so many different videos, it's ridiculous. But we're back with another ranking video, we're on tiermaker.com. The classic, the classic. And we're done. We've done one of these before, um, we've ranked Rainbow Six Ops, that video was like an hour long. I'm going to try and keep this one a little bit shorter, but probably won't, but you know, it's fine. So, we've got one, two, we've got six ranks here. We've got God Tier, Pretty Good, Average, Tolerable, Trash Can, and Unplayed. And we've got every single Zombies map. So, that's, you know, Black Ops 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, um, including Chronicles. The only thing I don't see on here is Vanguard Zombies or Call of Cold War. I don't see Cold War, which... I liked Cold War. Cold War was a good game, but Vanguard we're not going to talk about because that game is absolutely dog shit. But this is fine. We even have like the different versions, which I think is cool. Like we've got Chronicles versions as well, which I like. I like that. So we're going to go in just order of how they are. Um, I have a lot of unplayed maps. You know, I'm a big Zombies player. I'm a big Zombies fan, but I didn't really play like the spin-off games. Like I played a little bit of Infinite Warfare, but Advanced Warfare, I played one game and I was like, yeah, this is dog shit, and then uninstalled. So, we're going to go, I don't know, these these are in, like, this is Black Ops. Um, but yeah. You will find that a lot of my maps don't uh, go based off of what everyone else likes. And if you don't like my opinions, go somewhere else, because I don't like your favourite map, and I don't care. What you think about it. I think a lot of the higher maps are terrible. So say what you will. don't care. So we're going in. This is my opinion. If you get easily offended, fuck off. I'm not interested. So yeah, six tiers. And we're going to start with the original Nacht de Untoten. Uh, God tier. No. It's average, isn't it, really? I mean, I'd put it in like the mech category, really. Because there's nothing to it. It's a... Right, spawn in, go on, there's a box, crack on. You know, the World at War engine. Now I've been playing a lot more custom zombies, the World at War engine is painful. <laughs> you get stuck on corners, the zombies stick to you like magnets and you can't move, you get swarmed, it's... Yeah, you can definitely tell it's an older game. But the map itself, I like the map a lot. It's the first ever zombies map I played, um, back when I was 8 years old. I played World at War when it came out. And I didn't even know zombies were a thing. I didn't even know zombies existed in anything. Um, and then I beat the campaign and it said new mode. And I was like, oh, what's this? Knack there and Toad. Oh, that's quite cool. And then me and my brother would sit there for hours. Um, MG42 camping. Uh, sitting in the god spot with a flamethrower. Running around in circles with a flamethrower. Uh, sitting in a corner with a browning. Uh, sitting in a corner with a ray gun. Uh, sitting in a corner and dying. You get the point. It's average. But I have a lot of memories on it. Resurrection Verrucked. I've never played it. Uh, to be honest with you, I can put all of these in here. Other than... Uh, I can't put that in there yet. So Verrucked uh, and Shino Numa on the World War engine. I've never played. I don't know what Resurrection... I, I don't know. I have them. They're on PC. I have them. I've just never played them. I'm going to. But uh, as of right now, as of recording this, I've never played them. When we were kids, we didn't have DLC. So, you know, we just bought the game and that was it. Um, so, yeah, never played them. Darice, however, I think... I'm going to put in God tier for one reason, and that is replayability. That's a big word I would use a lot in this video. Um, how interesting am I to come back to play this map? And Darice is a map that I will happily play every time not like if someone says can we play knacked i'll be like uh, yeah okay then or sometimes i'll say i don't want to play knacked but doris probably never going to complain about playing doris i like doris a lot it's a great map um pretty simple pretty standard you have everything you need you have perks you have pack a punch in the world at war engine it isn't the best but that's not the game's fault that's the time and you know, you can only do so much with what you've got. But yeah, God tier. Original Moon, I've never played uh, on Black Ops. I think it was Black Ops 1. 
Uh, yeah, I've never played it. Um, I didn't have any of the Black Ops 1 DLCs either. Um, so, you know, I don't know how many people get triggered by that. Never played it. Transit. Trash can. Dog shit map. Don't want to play it. Boring. Uh, uninteresting. Uh, slow. Tedious. Uh, the setup takes forever. Uh, I will never play Transit again. Bus Depot is also trash. Garbage. Shit. It's great if you like... You go, I want to play Zombies, but I don't want to play something like... That's cool. Um... But yeah, no, Bus Depot was boring. When it had a box and that was it. Farm is the same. Trash. You're just stuck on farm. I think farm had perks. Bus Depot didn't. You have a box. Half the map is covered in lava. Boring to play. Um, but yeah, I don't like farm. Town. I would put town in god tier. But I need to kind of feel pretty good up. So, if, if there was an S and an A, town would be an A. Again, with like replayability. I think the lava ruins town. I'm very, very interested to play uh, Black Ops 2 Zombies on PC with mods because I think like that could make that would make this game a lot more playable. But I've got a lot of hours in town. I've got a lot of videos on town. Uh, town was actually my first ever HD video on this channel. I think that was my first ever yeah HD video. Um, I think it was seven. It might have been 1080. But I had no commentary. I had it hooked up to an absolute fucking dog shit laptop. Um, and yeah. I did one like playthrough like game. I think I got to like round 30 something. And then I died. And then I uploaded it and thought that's great content. And now I do that on my second channel. But yeah. No it's. I do love town a lot. Nuketown is trash. Not interested at all. It's Nuketown is a terrible map in multiplayer. Um, and in Zombies, it's the same. It's small, it's cramped, it's awkward, it's boring. Perks come down at random times. Sometimes you get Pack-a-Punch on round 10. I hate Nuketown. Dog shit. Die Rise is trash. It's unplayable. I fucking hate Die Rise. I like the Wonder Weapon. I really like the Wonder Weapon. The Sliquifier is awesome. It's a shame they didn't put it in any more maps. But, um... Yeah, I. You fall off, you die. There's nowhere to train. There's no, it's boring. Whatever. Original Verrupt. Uh, I've never played that. Um, I think Resurrection is Black Ops One. An original uh, Black Ops One Moon, Black Ops One Verrupt, and the original is World at War. Never played it. I'm going to for a video. Uh, but I haven't played it yet. Mob of the Dead is god tier. I love Mob of the Dead. It's great. I've got lots and lots more hours on Mob of the Dead. Mob of the Dead is one of those games where you can say, you know, let's hop into Mob of the Dead. And I'll be like, yes. No complaints. No. Oh, but can we? No, we're playing Mob of the Dead. Problem solved. Done. Finished. No complaints here. I love Mob of the Dead. I love the characters. I love the aesthetic. I love the feeling. I love the look of the zombies. I love the guns. I love the Blondergat, the best wonder weapon they've ever made. Not statistically, but coolness. The Blondergat is awesome. Yeah, Mother of the Dead is fantastic. I mean, the Black Ops 2 version was so much better as well than uh, Blood of the Dead, which is a shame. Buried is also god tier. Buried is my favourite Call of Duty map ever. I think Buried is better than Mob of the Dead. I think Buried is better than Origins. I think Buried is better than any other map they've ever made. Buried is absolutely awesome. I absolutely adore the setting. A western town in Africa... Oh, yeah, that's normal. Okay, then. Makes no sense, but it works. You want to sit in a corner with a head chopper and a pack a punch day in 94? Go for it. You want to sit in a corner with a paralyzer? Go for it. You want to sit in any corner with a paralyzer? Go for it. You want to go and buy all your perks? Sure. You want to farm the witches to get infinite perks? Go for it. Buried is great. You want to cheat and use the bank? Go for it. It's got everything. It's great. All those buildables. There's so many buildables. You've got like the. I can't remember what it's called, but you got like the, I haven't played Buried in yeah, years. You got like the subwoofer that sends them packing. Yeah, absolutely incredible map. But like I said, you can you can put guns where you want them. So if you want to camp, you can. But yeah, no, it was awesome. I love Buried so much. Original Origins, tolerable. 
I mean, it, it, that, yeah. I'll say the same. For, uh, you know what? We're going down in order. I don't like Origins that much. I think Origins is overrated. I think at the time it was alright because it was like, there's four Wonder Weapons plus the Raygun plus the Raygun Mark II. Fuck off and have fun. But like the mod on all the barrel all around the map that slows you down. There isn't really many places to train because everywhere's covered in mud. The wonder weapons were cool, but they were really annoying to upgrade. Yeah, it's just one of them. You know, I just I very, very rarely want to jump into a game of of uh, Origins. Shadows of Evil. Uh, it's average. It's all right. If there was a meh category, that's what average would be. This is my meh category. <coughs> oh. I don't hate Shadows. I like... I I appreciate the art style. I just get sick of the orange filter. You know, I, I, sometimes I just want to see Call of Duty in like... Because Call of Duty... I mean, Black Ops 3 is not a bad looking game at all, is it? I would like to just, you know, be able to look at the graphics on their own and be like, yeah, these look great. But I can't do that because of this stupid orange filter they've got over everything. But I like the aesthetic. I like the characters. The characters were all right. Uh, the Black Ops 3 engine is awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll say no more. The Giant, God tier. I mean, if I put the Reese in there, I've got to put the Giant in there. Simple, easy, never going to complain. Black Ops 3, you got the perks. You've got the gobble guns uh, if you want to use them. You've got all, everything you need. Pack a punch. You can train. It's not easy. Um, you can camp. It's also not easy, but Black Ops 3, it's a lot easier than World of War. But yeah, the Giant's great. It's easy. I won't complain about playing the Giant. Like these, if you said, let's go and play Doris. Yeah, all right, then let's go play Buried. Fucking get in, yes. You know, I'll say the same about Pretty Good. Um... Dirt Eisendrack is tolerable. No, it isn't the best map in the game. No, it's not the best map in the game at all. Yeah, I know it has infinite. Not infinite. I know it has four wonder weapons. Yeah, I know it looks cool. That's it. It's just meh. It's not great at all. I hate Dirt Eisendrack. And I think I hate it a lot more because everybody rates it so high. But no. You know what? I might do this, actually. I am going to change these. Can I do that? I can do that. We're going to make that decent. And we're going to make this one... Meh. There we go. That's a bit better. Because now, like, tolerable is not the same as decent. And meh is, like, tolerable. But... I think that's a bit better. I don't like DE, and like I said, I don't think I like it because everybody else raves it so high. Zetsubo's trash. Garbage. Dog shit. Fucking terrible. It's not fun to play. It's not fun to be on. The Wonder Weapon's cool. The big fucking bush monster zombies are really fucking annoying. The spiders are really annoying. It's just not fun. Next. Gorod Krovi is just meh, in my opinion. The aesthetic is awesome. Gorod Krovi could have been so much better. Had it have been a bit more playable. Like, aesthetics-wise, I think Gorod Krovi's got to be one of the nicest-looking maps in any COD game ever. It looks awesome. I like the uh, aesthetic. I like the theme. I like the feeling. You know, Stalingrad. There's dead bodies everywhere. There's dragons it could have been so much better. But the map isn't that fun. Like, play it. Where, where are you going to train? You're going to sit in the corner with the Mark III? Yeah, that's great. But that only works for about three seconds. And I th from what I've been told, the, uh, the Easter egg is, like, really hard to do, but it's really fun. From what I have never done the Easter egg, so... I don't have four hours to hold square on bookcases. Revelations is decent. I like Rev. I think Rev is a map that they should do more of. You know, they, they added loads of like little bits of certain maps into one big map. Um, I know a lot of people think that they're just reusing stuff. And yeah, they are, but, you know. 
I don't think Rev is a bad game at all. Uh, a bad map. I like Rev. I like the aesthetic. You know, and if you like, oh, I want to go and train on Kino. Go on then. Oh, I want to go and sit in Verrucked. Go on then. Oh, I want to go and play in Mob. Go on then. You know, you can go wherever you want. There's loads of different training spots. So yeah, it's decent. Chronicles Nact is decent. You know, it's the same map, just easier. Um, I actually really like the way the Chronicles versions look. Um, but yeah, essentially it's the same map. It's just decent. It's you know, it's simple. Spawn in. There's your box. And there you have gobble gums that make it easier and blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, crack on, do your thing. Original Shino Numa, I've never played. So I can't really comment. I've played the Chronicles version. I have it installed. Like I said, I have World at War of all the DLC, but I've just never played it. Chronicles Verrucked is meh. Um, there's not much to it. I mean, there's the same with Shino Numa. I put, I put all of these in uh, there. Chronicles Moon. Chronicles Moon. Yeah, okay. Because these are going to go in different places. So Verrucked and Shino Numa. Again, essentially nothing to them really. You spawn in. There's your perks. There's the box. Go and live. They look great, they feel great, but there's nothing to them really, you know. I would rather play any of these over, you know, Verrucked. But uh, on a good day, when I want to just play any zombies, I will play them. But, yeah. Chronicles Kino is is probably god tier. I love Kino de Toen so much. Where's normal Kino? There it is. We'll put these both together, because I love Kino. I've not, re not long played Kino Rebirth, which is a custom zombies mod, which is... Really good. If you haven't played it, by the way, or haven't seen the video, uh, it should be out before this. Really, really good map. Really, really well done. Um, but yeah, Kino's great. Kino is so easy. Kino is prob probably my most played map of all time, I want to say. Um, it's pretty simple. Again, you know, you have your perks. You have your pack of punch. You have your box. You have your little music Easter egg. You have your, you know, your Bowie knife. The little Nova crawlers can be annoying when you're training because you have to aim down to see them as opposed to aiming up at the head. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the Black Ops 1 engine. I don't like the way it feels. I don't like the weapons. But the map itself is absolutely phenomenal. I will always play Kino every day. Ascension is also god tier. I love Ascension just because it's so fucking easy. Gobblegum, Perkaholic, Get Wall by. Go and buy the RK5. Go and run around in a circle. Have fun. Don't turn the power on. Those monkeys are a pain in the ass. I love Chronicles so much. It's so good. Chronicles Shangri-La is trash. I hate Shangri-La. It's so difficult. It's annoying. But it looks really good. Like This is probably aesthetically the prettiest map ever made. But, uh... But yeah. No, I don't like it. Chronicles Moon is meh. I want to like Moon. I really do. I really tried to play Moon a lot. I think when I did... What did I do? I think I did... When I did my Moon video, when I played it for the first time, the Chronicles version, I ended up getting stuck. I think one of the excavators came down and blocked off my path, and I was, I was stuck there for the rest of the game. I couldn't do anything. And whether I just didn't know what I was doing... Or whether, you know, that's that's not my problem. That's the map's fault. There should never be a point where half of the map gets blocked off from what you're doing. Yeah, I don't like Moon. I tried to, I really did. But it's annoying. And the boss zombies are a pain in the ass. The astronaut who just stumbles around, nicks all your fucking points or perks or whatever he takes off you, is just a pain in the ass. Chronicles Origins, again, is probably just meh. Where did I, have I put on? Where's Origins? I swear we've done Origins, have we not? What the fuck? We've done Origins. Oh, it's there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Again, mate, it's the same map. Same problems. Just on the Black Ops 3 engine, which makes it a bit easier. But it's still not an ideal map. Blood of the Dead. I want to put in God Tier because it's probably one of my most played maps. But I'm going to put it in pretty good because I'm going to put Classified in God Tier. Now, we're going to go into this separately. So we're going to do Blood first. Mob of the Dead, S tier map. Phenomenal map. Blood of the Dead is also the same map. Um, any of the criticism you hear about Blood of the Dead, about the map layout, is complete bullshit. 
Oh, there's a whole part of the map you don't use. Okay. Don't use it then. Um, I know getting to like the map is a bit annoying, but it's not difficult. It's not hard. Uh, Brutus is even easier in Black Ops 4. You know, you've got the Wonder Weapons. And Black Ops 4 is easier in general, you know. Put Mule Kick on. Put uh, Stone Cold Stronghold on. Put Bandit Bandit on. Put Deadshot Dealer on. Pack a punch, three LMGs, go and sit on the gondola, farm your headshot camos. Problem solved. Easy. And classified is the same thing. Um, I hate, absolutely hate five. Yeah, five. Absolute terrible map. Dog shit map. But classified looks so cool. Classified is my most played Black Ops 4 map. Um, and I think a lot of people hate the Black Ops 4 maps because they're Black Ops 4. And I think a lot of people hate the Black Ops 4 maps because they liked Black Ops 3 so much. And it changed up everything. Like, I could make a whole separate rant video on Black Ops 4 reviews and what people think about this game. Because Black Ops 4 gets so much undeserved hate, it's unreal. I love Black Ops 4. And I would, I would actually be interested to see, like, play Black Ops 4 with mods. Because... Black Ops 4's biggest problem is the maps. Not the gameplay, it's the maps. Classified, Blood and 9 are the best maps in that game. All the other ones are terrible. So yeah, that's that. I love Classified. 9 is probably... I want to put it in God tier, but I'm going to put it in pretty good because I like Classified more. But 9 is really good. 9 is great. 9 is one of the best things to happen to Black Ops 4. And the fact that it was a base map as well, it's great. You're playing in a Roman Colosseum. I think a lot of problems that 9 has are the boss zombies. You know, you get way too many heavy zombies spawning that kind of ruin it. Um, you know, the fact that you get like 15 to 20 heavy zombies that spawn in, as well as the catalyst zombies, as well as the god blightfather, godfather. As well as, yeah, it kind of ruins the game. But... There are ways to deal with it, like the, the ultimates, like your Staff of Ra's. Or just four-pack the Helion Salvo, problem solved. Easy. Original Doris. I've got to put that in God tier, haven't I? That's Resurrection. I've never played that one. <laughs> the original one. That's the one I've played. God tier. Easy. I say no more. Voyage. Trash. Dead of the Night. Trash. Ancient Evil. Trash. Alpha Omega. Trash. Tag de Toten. Trash. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about these. Because these maps are why Black Ops 4 is as hated as it is. They're all terrible maps. Voyage is so cramped. It's unreal. It's like trying to walk through a four year old's bedroom. That gets spoilt at Christmas. You can't see the floor. You can't walk where you want to. Things spawning in all over the place. You've got the, the big giant... Whatever the fuck they're called that can tank a million bullets, plus the blight fathers, plus the spiders, plus no space. It's trash! It's shit! But it has a cool wonder weapon. Dead of the Night's the same, it's boring, there's nowhere to train, the vampires are annoying, Ancient Evil is the same. Look, aesthetically, it's god tier, but gameplay wise, it's terrible. Alpha Omega is Nuketown, so it automatically loses 500 points for me, and Tag the Totem is. There's nowhere to play, so. Try and play Tag the Totem in co-op and try and train in four different spots. You can't. Right. I didn't really specify what I was uh, ranking these on. But I am ranking them based on like what I like to play. Like replayability. How many times is someone going to say to you, let's go play Tag the Totem. And you're going to be like, oh yes, please. I love Tag the Totem. You're not. Let's go play Voyage. How about you get fucked? So yeah, that's that. Right, I think these are, I think these aren't zombies, pretty sure these are extinction maps, point of contact, I thought point of contact was pretty decent to be fair, me and Jack played that quite a bit, we like this, um, But it's been that long. I can't really remember much about it. I do remember playing it quite a bit. And I do remember you have to get a drill. You have to drill into like things. 
and there are weapons that you can buy along the way and there's like boxes with attachments and stuff in i thought point of contact is pretty good but i'm i think these are like dlc maps and i never played ghost long enough to play the dlc so i've never played them outbreak was trash advanced warfare was trash Infection, I never played. Carrier, I never played. Um, Descent, I also never played. Because Advanced Warfare can suck my balls. Terrible game. But Outbreak was... Uh, it had potential. Like you think, oh, jetpack zombies. Okay, I mean, they could have just not put the jetpacks in zombies. But they didn't. They put them in. And then they put in EMP zombies so that you couldn't use your jetpack. And jetpacks were the whole point of the game. And it's like, well, that's just fucking pointless, wasn't it? Zombies in Spaceland is pretty good. I actually really enjoyed my time with this map. Um, I played it. I played it. Um, not long ago, actually. Not long ago at all. When did we last play? I think... I can't remember. I'm not going to search for it on my YouTube. But it wasn't that long ago, and I really enjoyed it. I like the aesthetic. I think I need to get used to the mechanics a bit different, because obviously every COD feels different. Um, I don't think I lasted long. Um, but the map itself is pretty simple once you know where things are. You know, the perks aren't exactly hard to find. But they've changed the names, and I didn't know what the names were, so I was buying things, I think, that were terrible, and... Yeah, that was probably not the best idea. But it, aesthetically, it looks awesome. It really does. And these are all the DLC maps that I've never played. I've never played them. Because um, I didn't like... I didn't like... I didn't like Infinite Warfare that much. Or in, and I didn't want to stick with it long enough to play them. And I'm not spending money on a game I don't enjoy. Right. Original 5, trash, dog shit. Pentagon Thief steals your guns. Nowhere to train. Uh, Black Ops 1 engine, I don't like. Uh, the guns are pretty bad. And the Wonder Weapon sucks ass. I'll say no more. <laughs> Groston House is decent. It's basic. It's the same as... Same as Nact, really. I I think World, at War, World War 2 zombies got way more hate than it deserved. World War 2 zombies was pretty decent. Um... Again, I think World War World War Two Zombies has the same problem Black Ops Four did, in that the maps weren't the best, and the characters were quite annoying. Um, you could play as your own characters. You know, you had weapon kits. The fact you had to buy yourself revives, um, with real money, was annoying. You don't technically have to. You can just farm the game, and just grind. But yeah, that's. What Quick Revive has been for the last, you know, six years. Why are you changing this? The armor system isn't the best. Uh, Jug was way better. Because you end up getting to, like, round 34. And you have to spend 10k just to get three extra hit points. You know, it's... It's that, but... Right, now I've got to try and remember what's what. Final Reich. Final Reich was decent. Um, Final Reich was the first map I ever did uh, an Easter egg on. But we never recorded it. And I don't know why we didn't. We should have. But it's a very easy map to train on. You have so much. See this is it. It's playable. To be honest I would put it in god tier. Because I always like playing Final Reich. I never dislike it. You know. Once you get a hang of the. I'll put it in pretty good actually. Because I liked Final Reich a lot. It was really good. Uh, yeah, I, I would actually be interested to see if there are any World War Two custom maps because that would be awesome. That really would. Right, the Darkest Shore is trash. That's a fucking terrible map. Those boss zombies that literally put you down to one HP in one hit. Then you got all the fog. If you sprint or shoot, everything knows where you are. You can't see nothing. We tried doing the Easter egg for this map. I don't think we finished it, or maybe we did, but it was so bad I don't remember. But there's a scene where you got to shoot down planes and stuff. It's just... Yeah, just the map itself is so unplayable. Shadowed Throne is meh. Um, where the fuck's that gone? I 
Oh, there it is. It's a mech game. That's not where I've pushed. Um, aesthetically, it looks great. Uh, Shadow of Throne is very similar to Gora Krovi in aesthetics. You know, you're in a bit of a destroyed city. And there's no dragons, obviously. Um, I think World War II is a very dark map. Like, a very dark game. Like, there's not very bright colours. It's not a very bright game. Um, but Shadow of Throne had things like melee weapons. Um, the zombies were really annoying. But you did have, like, this blunderbuss laser wonder weapon that had infinite ammo if you knew how to use it. That was great. Uh, how did you get to pack a punch? Oh, you needed to uh, you needed to throw a grenade at the uh, electric panel. But yeah, it looks great. Um, I would play it. Like, I'd go on now and play it. I'd give it a go. But it's not a game where I'd be like, let's go play Shadowed Throne. I'd be like, oh, you know, yeah. But I'd rather go and play Final Reich. That's the problem. And with the fact that Final Reich was a base map off the beginning, you needed to do an Easter egg to get Groston House, I think. So Final Reich gets even more points for that. Tortured Path was trash. And Frozen Dawn. I've actually never played Frozen Dawn. We went to, but we never did. But Tortured Path, you had objectives. And if you failed one of those objectives, the whole map was over. Um, some of the Tortured Path maps were really good. Um, they had like smaller versions of some of the maps. And they were the, the versions were really good. Like there's the one on the boat, I can't remember what it's called, but that one was quite good. And there's one where you're in like this tiny little town. I mean it's tiny. But you have so much space to play, it's great. It's really good. But the actual torture path game mode is dog shit. Uh Frozen Dawn, yeah, I've never played it. I went to, but I never did. Which is a bit annoying. I should have. I don't know why I didn't. Leviathan Custom Zombies. I've never played that. Leviathan Custom. Oh, Black Ops, I've never played that. Original Ascension, I've never played. Original Call of the Dead, I've never played. I've never played, and I've never played. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. There's going to be some controversial ones in there. I'm probably going to get shit for not liking Derizon Drac, but I could not care less. I don't like the map. It looks really good. It looks great. Graphically, it looks great, but good graphics don't make a good map. You know, your game, your map can look absolutely phenomenal. But if there's nowhere to train, if there's nowhere to play, then what's the point? I don't want to sit in a corner with a lightning bow and spam it with fucking alchemical antithesis. You know what I mean? I want to... Sometimes I like doing that. That's why I play maps like Classified. Sometimes I want to sit in a corner. But I should have the option to do both. You know, there should be a little bit of training, a little bit of camping. A little bit of training. You know, you camp till you can't camp no more, then you train. That's the point. That's why... The Giant and Darice were so good. Because you can camp on the catwalk. But when it starts going wrong. You start running around and shit in your pants. That's the point. But yeah no I'm happy with that. Uh, I think the Black Ops 4 ones are probably going to get some shit. But I don't care. Black Ops 4 is not a bad game at all. Uh, you actually need to play it. Um, and the more I think about it now. I think Revelations is actually a pretty good map. But I'm not changing it. That's that's my that's my maps. Did we do that quicker than we did? Uh, wow, we did. Jesus, we can rank maps quicker than we can rank characters, guys. Jesus. Right. Well, there we go. I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, that is that. Let me know down below what your favourites are. Um, you know, there's no there's no bias. I don't I don't hate people because they like their eyes and drag. You know what I mean? I just don't like it. I think there are better maps. Um, so let me know down below. Um, Leviathan is actually a map I'm going to download because I've heard so many good things about it. Black Ops 3 I've got coming in the post. I can't wait. Black Ops 3 Zombies on Customs is absolutely mental. It's going to be so good. I can't wait. But yeah, that is that. Let me know down below You know your list or make your own video. Uh, join my Discord and send me a link. I'll watch. I'll give you my opinions. I mean, you've pretty much heard all mine in this video, but you know, I'm a friendly guy if you talk to me properly. Um, and joining the Discord is a good way to talk to me. Um, I'll, I answer all my messages provided I see them. <clears throat> Links to all my other socials are down there. You know, Twitter is there. I don't use it because nobody follows me. <laughs> Facebook. I'm pretty sure I've got Facebook in my links. I never use Facebook, so I don't know why that's there. But it doesn't matter. Regardless, all that good stuff. It's been your boy. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one.